Hi, it's Gail from Life and Splatters, and here's another painting for you. This is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas. I think this might be my all-time favorite size because it's manageable for a big canvas, and it fits inside the washing machine tub that I ordered uh, that you put under your uh, laundry washing machine. So I'm trying to use up some paints that I've mixed but that always starts out with me adding more paint to it in the cup and making more paint. But, so it, it rarely do I run out of paint. So I'm using up a beautiful metallic green gold that is, I believe, Americana Deco Art Extreme Sheen Peridot, or it's their metallic peridot. I'm using my favorite copper by Sargent. I'm using a light gold that I made actually quite thin. I'm using some black, some chocolate brown. Uh, all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water. Generally, it's anywhere from three to five parts of Floetrol to paint, depending on the thickness or heaviness of the paint itself. And I usually end up adding a little bit of water. My paints tend to be a little thinner than most. Uh, I sometimes put in a squirt of Liquitex pouring medium as well, just because I have it. And uh, no silicone at all in any of these paints. So this is going to be a swipe. I'm going to spray a paper towel with water, get it pretty wet, and I'm going to start swiping down. You may notice that I've started using the paper towel more than once, and that is partly due to COVID and trying to sort of make my supplies last as long as possible. The other thing I find is that there is some paint that is left on the paper towel, which adds some interest to other areas that might be a little bit bland. I find tilting my swipe paintings uh, hopefully stretches the paint out a bit and allows for some more cell action. Uh, this works generally as a rule and it creates some nice cells. So right from the beginning I had planned to use interference gold, Golden's interference gold in this painting. That's what I just poured across the top and I am going to spray a paper towel and I'm going to swipe it. Now, unfortunately you can't see it because I have to tilt the canvas when I do this. I did this in a previous painting and I really like the effect. When I have it standing up tilted and the paint is running, I take my spray bottle and I mist it with some more water onto the golden interference gold. This starts it to run down. It dilutes it a little bit so you get some translucency. And when it dries, it'll be a lovely translucent gold wash over the other colors. Now I think in this painting I did it a couple of times to let the paint run down. 
but uh, I, there, I'm spraying it, and actually I, I really do like the way that paint now washes down over the other others. And the water doesn't hurt the painting at all. Now I'm going to add some black paint across the top because I'd, I'd like a little more definition there. This canvas was not flooded with white paint, so this is just white canvas above this. So I add the black and I tilt it a little bit, try to bring it down. And then I think about it and I decide to spray it with a little bit of water and let the black paint run down. Similarly, as you can see, quite watery and running drips down again. Now look at how interesting it is. It just adds something different. So from here I've noticed it's looking a bit like a forest. So I'm drawing the black line, the black paint down, creating branches and the trunks of the trees. And I sort of like the look. Of course, after I turned off the camera, I did a few more things. And I'll really I'm going to talk about those in my next video where I experiment with something else that gave me my end result. So at the end of this video is the end result and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. You can see that I took my skewer and I've drawn some of the paint upwards into the black, some of the tops of the trees, just for a little more interest, and I've created a lot more branches and trunks of the trees. I've named this one a walk in the woods, and I hope that you find it interesting. There is a secret thing I did to it that I didn't film, and I'm going to be experimenting with it a little bit more. And We'll see, it didn't, I didn't get a big reaction with using this product. So I'm gonna try it in my next painting, which might actually be today. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I really appreciate your support and your comments and your likes. And I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. And I, I thank Heather Mader for that because we did a collab and I got a lot of followers, fans of hers that came over and took a look at my place. So thank you very much for everything. I can't believe I'm actually doing videos and talking, but there it is. Have a great day and play with your pigments. It's fun watching paint dry. Bye. Oops, I should also mention that I got a number of followers that came over after I did a collab with the fabulous Kathleen Osborne of Cause Creations. So I love my painting friends and I love painting and I hope it's contagious. This is a time to find joy in your art. Uh, you've got the time. Hopefully you've got stuff to paint on. And let's just keep doing it and sharing it. Thanks again. Bye.